This video is brought to you by the case that can increase your download speeds by up to 30%. Go to amidcasing.com for more information. And the ultimate iPhone warranty that protects your phone from drops, spills, and everything Apple will not. Squaretrade.com slash TSIG. How's it going there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. Now, Terminal Tip Tuesday was started a couple months back. I had to actually put it on dismissal during the holiday because I had to do so many reviews, but people kept asking me like crazy, when is Terminal Tip Tuesday coming back? So, you know, it has been a pretty well-liked uh, series and I plan to keep it going. So this week we have a very, very cool Terminal Tip and uh, it's one that I actually discovered the other day and uh, I've been using ever since. Um, and what it allows you to do is pin your dock to the left or right hand side of your screen. Now it's weird at first, it looks a little ugly, it actually grows on you a lot. The reason it's weird at first is because you're just not used to it, but um, you know it eventually gets there. Oh, not that one, sorry, that's the end. It's the secret one. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is uh, take the code that's in the bottom box below and paste that. It's defaults right com dot apple dot doc pinning minus string. Now, after string, you're going to push one space. Wow, that was very poorly worded. After string, you're going to put one space and then beginning. Excuse me, start or end. Now, if you do start, now we're going to kill the doc you'll see that the dock is pinned to the left hand side of my desktop. So that's where it resides. It doesn't stay in the middle. You can still do all your other things like uh, you know scaling and minimization and all that fun stuff. It's just that your dock is pinned on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Now it also works if you uh, use it on the right hand or the left hand side of the screen. So if I was to use it on the right side of the screen it would be pinned to the top side of the right hand side of the screen. So as you can see it is pretty versatile and you can kind of move it pretty much anywhere you want on your desktop. So we're, I like it on the bottom, that's where I've always put it, that's where I learned, you know, well, that's where I've always had it on the bottom. But I have uh, begun to like it being pinned on the right. So I type uh, defaults right com.apple.doc pinning minus string and then I press um, end. Okay, so just END, you press enter and then uh, to refresh you can either restart your computer or type kill all one word space doc and you will see that it moves to the right hand side of your screen it's really cool it looks weird at first but it's really grown on me I like it there a lot and of course if this isn't something you want to do or if you want to get it back to the middle because you're not too fond of the left or the right you can of course pin it back to the middle of the screen by typing defaults right com dot apple dot doc pinning minus string middle enter and then kill all doc so I'm going to keep mine on the right hand side of my screen because I like it that way. So you type end, enter, kill all, doc. And there you go. That's today's Terminal Tip Tuesday. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's something else you want to see. And uh, of course, as always, stay snazzy. But before you go, I have one other little, it's more of a hidden gem. It's not really a terminal tip that helps you utilize something, but it does help you waste time and it's very funny. Now. Uh, what it is, is it allows you to watch Star Wars Episode 4 in ASCII. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck? I'm just going to press return. And uh, it goes through the credits in the beginning, and then it shows you, and it is absolutely hilarious that the guys took the time to do this. What it actually is, is Star Wars Episode 4. It's only a couple minutes long, but it's all in characters. It's all in ASCII. Now, it's going to start right here, and it'll say 20th century text rather than 20th century fox but uh, it actually goes into great detail obviously it has to have the star wars beginning with the, the text scrolling upwards but it eventually gets into these really cool mobilized characters and it's all built from letters ascii it's really really cool um i've spent probably 10 minutes just wasted my time watching it uh it is really funny and you know it's all annotated and it's a lot of fun so in order to see that one you need to use the command which i did earlier which was uh telnet one word space towel dot blinking lights dot nl and that's also in the bottom box thanks so much for watching guys please subscribe rate and comment and as always stay snazzy see you later folks